The development of the voltaic pile, which was the first electrochemical battery capable of producing continuous current, ushered in a new era of scientific discovery and inventions. In 1820, Danish physicist chemist Hans Christian Ersted noticed that whenever current from his voltaic pile was switched on and off, a compass needle placed near the wire deflected from true magnetic north. Whenever the current was turned off, the compass needle returned to its original orientation. With the help of Michael Faraday, Ersted and Faraday figured out that a magnetic field must circle current-bearing wire. This led to evidence or support that magnetic fields are created by charge in motion. It's pretty easy to replicate Ersted's original discovery. In this video clip, I have six dry cells connected in series. That should give us about 9 volts. My circuit goes a wire to a copper wire, through another wire, through the switch, and back to the battery. Now, notice all three compass needles are facing north the way they normally do. If I take this wire and place above the compass needles and in line with them, and I'm going to use some tape to hold it down, so now the compass needles are all facing north, the wire above them runs north-south. When I close the switch, I'm going to create current that goes through this copper wire and through our complete circuit. Notice what happens to the needle when the switch is closed. All three compass needles deflected toward the east. So the magnetic field went from pointing to the north to pointing to the east. When I open the switch and turn the current off, the magnetic field goes back to its original orientation. So the compass needles face north again due to the Earth's magnetic field. Now if we place the compasses above the wire instead of below and we close the switch and run current through the wire, notice what happens. This time the compass needles deflected to the west. So the magnetic field above the wire faces one direction and the magnetic field below the wire faces the other. So above the wire it was to the west and below the wire was to the east. This is how Michael Faraday and Hans Christian Ersted determined that the magnetic field circles the wire. Because if it circles the wire it points one direction below and one direction above. This discovery paved the way for the invention of electromagnets, the telegraph, and the DC motor. Common bar magnets or permanent magnets don't have an on-off switch. These magnetic fields have an on-off switch. Turn on the current, we turn on the magnetic field. Turn off the current, we turn off the magnetic field. 